Hey, this is Pierre from Notion Forms. In this video, I will show you how you can use the uh, custom logic inside Notion Forms to show or hide questions depending on preview sensors from your users. The first thing I need to do is to go to my uh, Notion uh, workspace and create the table to receive the forms uh, responses. So I've created a page where I have only a table with conditional logic form. This is the name of my database in which I have created four columns, one for the name of the users, uh, one which is single select where I ask if you like more apples or strawberries, and then two other columns with text where I ask the users, why do you like apples more or why do you like strawberries more? So now that I've done this, I can go back to my uh, Notion form page and create a new form. Here, I'm going, I'm going to select the uh, accurate form, which is my conditional logic form. So here it is. I have my four fields with the name uh, and the three other fields where I asked if you like apples more than strawberries and why do you like one more than another? So I'm going to move up the which one, the select one, which is the one I want to trigger and show each either why do you like apples more or why do you like strawberries more, depending on this question's answer. So I'm going to hide the two uh, text fields uh, where I'm going to ask why do you like that fruit more. And in those, after hiding them, I'm going to go in the settings here and then scroll down and at the bottom there's the logic um, part of the pop-up where i'm gonna say okay let's say um, you um, like apples more so i'm gonna select the which do you like more and then equals apple and i'm going to show this block when the second question of which do you like more is apple so I'm going to show the block and there's another option for me is to require the answer, which I want. I want the user to select the fruit he likes more and then have to describe why he likes the fruit more. So I'm going to require the answer as well. And I'm going to do the same thing for the strawberries uh, question where here I'm going to say, and which do you like more at a condition? and say equal strawberries. And the action is to show this block and I'm gonna require an answer. So now I can create the form. And if I just copy and open a new page and paste the URL, I can, I can see there's only two fields where I'm gonna say it's Pierre, which you like more, I like more strawberries. You can see that the next question is the, why do you like strawberries more? Uh, and I'm going to say because they are red, submit. Now I've submitted my field. If I go to my forms, I can see that Pierre answered the form. He liked more strawberries and the information of because they are red came into the strawberries column. If I go back and now open the form again, I'm going to say my name is John. I like apples more. And then I'm going to say because they are green. I'm going to submit my answer, go to my Notion page, and you can see that John likes apples more and because they are green. So with this logic, you can either hide and show questions depending on a previous answer. 